welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I personally style built-ins and shelves and hopefully give you guys some tips that you can implement into your own spaces. So if you're new here, welcome. I'm Noelle. I make new videos like this every single week showing you guys how to get the high looking home that you want at a price point that you can afford. So if you like that, definitely consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Before we jump into this video today, I wanted to give a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So let's go ahead and get into styling. So obviously before you start styling, you are going to need to gather up a lot of items for your styling. So I personally like to grab lots and lots of different options of things that I can put on the shelves just so that I have things to play with and work with and I use lots and lots of different kinds of materials. So I like to incorporate woods and ceramics, different art prints, plants, all kinds of things to keep it interesting and keep your eye moving throughout the styled bookshelf. And you want all of these items to be very reflective of your own style and in the same color palette so that they complement one another. And if you don't know what your style is or are unsure of how to gather all of these things together, I have an awesome, awesome resource for you guys. I am so excited to be partnering with Skillshare for this video. I started using Skillshare way before I got on YouTube and really was just an amazing outlet for me as a stay at home mom to feel like I was able to do something for myself. So I actually started with Emily Henderson's styling class and it was so, so fun. In Emily Henderson's Style Your Space class, she takes you through the basics of styling and how to find your style. There's a style quiz on there to help you really understand what you like and to get a grip on that. She also shows you how to style a space. She goes through and talks about complementary colors and colors that work well together. So those are all going to help you get your space together and get it looking really high end. They don't only have styling classes and interior design type of classes, they also have so many different other options such as photography and filming. If you are into painting, they have lots of classes on that. They're actually uploading new classes every single week so that there's always something new for you to learn and grow in. And Skillshare is actually going to offer the first thousand people who click on the link in the description box below a one month free trial of their premium Skillshare membership. So I really hope that you guys go and check it out. You will not regret it. Once you've got all of your styling pieces gathered up, I actually like to kind of organize them loosely into different categories so that they're easy to pull from. So I'll have like my woods, my brasses, darker tone colors, plants, all so that I can grab them easily and style them equally throughout the shelves so that they're nice and balanced. So I'm gonna start by putting on my larger pieces first so that they are nice and spread out and give us a good grounding point. I love being able to add in art to my shelves and built-ins because that is going to really give you some more visual interest and bring in some more color. And it can also act as a really great layering piece to bring some height to the back of a little vignette. I really love to add in books to a bookcase or a built-in because they can act as so many different things. They can add lots of texture. You can use them underneath of other decor pieces to raise them up and give them a little more height or definition from the base of the built-in shelf. And they're just really an all around great piece to add in a spiller. And I actually love to purchase 
thrifted books. This is a really easy way to get that look without having to pay $25 per book. I know that some decor books can be very expensive, so I actually picked up a couple of these from the thrift store for a dollar a piece. So you can't beat that, and it's a really great way to get that same look. And you can buy specific books that work for your style. I tend to go for decor books or like gardening or landscape, different things that are things that I'm interested in. As I'm styling, I really try to make sure that everything is easily dispersed, such as colors and textures and tones. I don't want them to be grouped together. Like I don't want a black piece next to a black piece or a wood piece right beside another wood piece. I want them to really speak to each other throughout the whole bookcase so that it keeps your eye moving throughout and it really draws in your interest. Whenever you scatter the materials around the bookshelf, it really keeps your eye moving around. So you can see we have the brass accent up here as well as here and then the brass candlesticks over here as well. So it's just really keeping your eye bouncing around. So this bookshelf is looking a little, it's looking good, but we always add plants to the shelves so that it really brings in some life and some more depth to the space and adds that really good touch of life through the greens, even if they're not alive. I personally like to use it faux greenery just because I kind of forget about it if it's up on my shelf. And if you water it, it can damage your shelves. So I like to use some faux greenery and we have some really cute ones here to work with. Also, don't be afraid of white space in your styling. It's okay and actually really good to have spaces where there's not decor so that it gives your mind and your eyes just a moment to rest and really take in what is there. But there are some places where you kind of want to connect those groupings together. So I like to work in groups of threes and twos. As you can see here, there's some groups of two bells and then these groupings here but they kind of need something to tie them together. So for that, I love using beads or chains, different things that don't take up a lot of height space, but are really low and almost kind of like drapey so that they can tie the vignettes together. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and are able to implement some of these tips and tricks into your own space. I know that decorating a built-in or shelving unit like this can seem a little bit daunting sometimes because it's such a large space to work with, but hopefully this makes it feel a little bit more attainable for you guys. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And again, huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below to get your free one month trial of Skillshare Premium. You will not regret it. You will grow and learn so, so much. So I hope you guys check it out and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.